Hmm. Less than 24 hours left to submit this behind the scenes as well as the short film for the competition. Classic. Hey everyone, Chris Cohn here and welcome to the behind the scenes of Paragon Reloaded. This was based on a concept I did a few years back and while there's not a lot of story you can develop within three minutes, I had one goal from the beginning, that is to take the audience to a cinematic dystopian world full of tension, action and wonder from the first scene all the way to the last. Basically what that means is, I tried my best. In terms of how this was made, basically pre-production was about five days and that included me crafting the final kind of like story arc for three minutes, as well as going on Amazon and ordering a lot of things and molding them to look sci-fi, which was pretty fun. One of those days was me and my friend going through the choreography, which took us about one hour and then a few more hours to practice it, to make it flow. Production took a single day and specifically five hours. It was a bit stressed, but we managed to record all the clips that we needed and then it was all about post-production which just took seven days but it felt so much longer in terms of gear and crew we, we went full minimal just the bare bones essentials basically the actors as well as my friend Martin to be the guy behind the camera who took the amazing executive decision to throw himself with the camera on the grass during the fight scene to get some epic shots legend then there was Yvonne who was the antagonist and um, enjoyed way too much pretending to punch me in the face then we had Rhiannon who was the badass second generation paragon who almost froze to death by the end while we, she was waiting for us to finish the fight and then you had myself who everyone looked to and was wondering if I know what I was doing including myself. In terms of gear, we actually used, again, a bare bone system, one man uh, shooting style. We used the Weeble S as the gimbal for stabilization when needed, other than that we went handheld. We used the Sony A7 III with the Tamron 28-75 millimeters, and that was to give us full flexibility on the fly to just simple click, change the focal length, and start recording ASAP. And for sound, we used the Epic Rode NTG Go on camera microphone to get directional sound. What really helped was that after the edit was locked in, I could just plug the microphone in the computer and just record post action sound and then process it in. Being sci fi, there was a lot of creative room to spice things up. And of course, visual effects were a complete breeze in this project. <laughs> If I can leave you watching with one thing, a project like this does not need a huge crew or gear to bring to life. Then it's all about finding the right time to go out there, have some fun, and then sit with popcorn on the couch with your friends and have a laugh about it on the next one.